is seeing. When you think you've seen it all in boxing, Sabalenka, being crowned champion, once again showing the world why he is the greatest. Left hook on the temple, unbelievable. He starts with a special showcase bout. It's an absolute monster of a lightweight. She wasn't going for goal, but she'll happily accept it. It's gone all the way through, and look at this! Chewinga! Did you dare write Barcelona off? The career of one of the all-time greats is all but over. You must come back. Goal! Uma oportunidade de dizer alguma coisa que eu que eu acho que nunca disse. NFL Game Pass is now exclusively on the zone. Let's get this thing going. Watch every game, plus the playoffs and Super Bowl. To the end zone. Wow. It's your all-access pass. Well on his way to coming back. Katie Taylor does it again. Look at the emotion. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. From the four corners of the world, the four corners of this room, the five stars now! So close. From Hollywood Park, YouTube theater at Hollywood Park in Inglewood, California, getting ready for our final press conference. Just mere steps away from SoFi Stadium, home of the LA Rams, home of so many great concerts. It's a really cool venue. It's a great setup. You see it right when you fly over on your way to LAX. It's a great setup, and it's a great venue for boxing, the YouTube Theater. It'll be the second time that Golden Boy Promotions shows up to the YouTube Theater. And it's uh, Arzen Gulamidian taking on Surdo Ramirez in a 12-round bout for the WBA Cruiserweight Championship presented by Golden Boy Promotions in association with Y12 Boxing and Fiddles Boxing Promotions. Fight will take place Saturday March 30th from the YouTube Theater in Inglewood, California, broadcast live on The Zone. I'm Bethel Duran alongside the one and only, the Hall of Famer, the Golden Boy himself, Oscar the Loya. Oscar, you're bringing Golden Boy back to YouTube Theater. This is a great setup. You're having some fun here, aren't you? Oh, yeah. It is a great setup. It's a perfect spot to watch some great fights. Um, you know, we're excited to be uh, 
to be partnering up with the uh, with the YouTube Theater, and um, it's it's fight fans are in for a special treat. We have a you know, great card from top to bottom. It's going to be exciting. Um, you know, topped off with a world championship title fight, which uh, I'm really, really looking forward to. It's going to be a great fight. So, uh, yeah, tune in on the zone. Uh, the main event, Arsene Feroz, Willemedian. He's from France. He's the champion. Right. Surdo Ramirez moving up to cruiserweight division. Surdo looked good against Joe Smith. This is not an easy fight, but it's a fun fight for the fans. Yeah, no, it's not an easy fight for both guys. I mean, both guys are both fighters are ready. They're they're, they're I'm sure they've done all their all their due diligence, right? At homework uh, in the gym and training really hard. I mean, the world champion, he's been he's been on top of his game for many years now, and uh, you know, obviously facing Surdo Ramirez um, is no easy task. Um, you know, Surdo's once again trying to make history uh, for Mexican boxing. And, um, you know, obviously it's very important, and uh, you're going to see it. You're going to see that passion come out on Saturday night. You'll definitely see that on Saturday. Five fights available for you live on the zone. Opening up the broadcast is a fighter that you recently signed from Bakersfield, Joel Iriarte. Yeah. He fought a couple weeks ago. You're moving on quick. What do you like about yeah. him? Um, yeah, I love, I love his explosiveness. I love the fact that, um, that he's, he's willing and ready to fight whenever he's called upon. Um, you know, and that's that's a mark of a of a champion. You know, I mean, every fighter here, and, and that's what I love about you know Golden Boy and the fighters and everyone. It's like you know, if 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 we will keep you busy, that's yeah. the bottom line. And uh, you know, topping it all off with uh, with Sandoval, who's um, who's um, you know just ready to take that next yeah. step. Um, he's in line for that world title, so uh, you know it's. Uh, I think I think sky's the limit for for everyone on this card. Yeah, you mentioned Ricardo Nino Sandoval also on the broadcast. Maybe a fight away from fighting for a world title, uh, wherever the world may take him, he's ready for you. He's always fun and exciting. Also, the return of Alexis Rocha, who opened up this building last year as the main event. Right. He got a knockout. Didn't go for him the way he wanted in his last fight, but you don't give up on your fighter, especially not one like Alexis. No, no, you can. I mean, it's 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 all about giving it your all it's all it's all about you know the efforts that you put into it and so you know it's it's if you're giving great performances great outings then obviously you're going to come back you know right away so we uh yeah we're we've been very busy we've been uh trying to fit in you know all fighters and make sure that we have the right plan for them to make sure they they you know make their dreams come true basically become world champions you know that's our job and so um, you know, so far so good. This year has been incredible. Um, the first quarter has been amazing, and we're looking forward to uh, to the spring. Right, last one before we get to the press conference, Oscar. Uh, you're keeping your staff busy. You were in Fresno a couple of days ago announcing Jose Ramirez and Virgil Ortiz fighting on the 27th. April 20th, right. Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney. Next week, we got Golden Boy uh, Fight Club in Indio, California. It's all about working with different promoters, giving the fans the fights. And it's only the first quarter, Oscar. You're busy. Right, yeah, no, and, and that's what it's all about is working with all the other promoters, making sure that we make the best fights, you know, possible. Um, it's, not, it's not an easy task, but it's, it's, it's a possible task. It's, it's one that... It's one that I can, you know, I can make happen. I, I, I strongly feel that all other promoters really want to work uh, with Golden Boy. They want to work with us just to make the fights happen. So we, we, we must come together as a sport. We must come together and, um, and, and literally give the fight fans, you know, the fights that they want to see. You know, you have all these fight fans and the you know, behind the uh, uh, computer. And, yeah, uh, and, they love and, to uh, leave you know, comments on Twitter. Yeah, no, they leave the comments and this and that and, and you know, but... Again, you, you have these knowledgeable, you know, fans that are really serious about boxing and they, and they study, you know, fights and fighters. And so they're actually good matchmakers as well, <laughs> right? So, um, yeah, I try to do, I try to do uh, with my team, obviously. Uh, you know, with, without this team, we, we, we wouldn't be here, obviously. But um, it takes a machine to put everything together. Um, we're just chipping away, trying to be the very best. All right, Oscar's going to be leading the press conference. Get up there. Fighters are waiting Thank you. for you. Tickets available at Ticketmaster.com for Saturday's fight here at the YouTube Theater at Hollywood Park. I'm telling you, it's a great setup. The ring is going to be right in the middle where those chairs are at. It's You do not want to miss it. If you can't make it here to Inglewood, California, you can go to the zone and you can watch all the fights on Saturday. It gets going at 5 o'clock Pacific time. Five fights coming your way 
live on the zone this Saturday. All right, let's go to the stage. Oscar DeLoya ready to lead us with the final press conference. Am I on? All right. Hey guys, how are you? Um, thank you to everyone for being here um, for the final press conference of yet another stacked Golden Boy card, topped off uh, with what I believe is going to be an incredible um, competitive world championship fight. Uh, the main event uh, speaks for itself. We are extremely excited to um, to have Gilberto Ramirez uh, Surdo uh, once again stepping inside the ring, fighting for another world title in a different weight class, um, trying to make history. He was the very first uh, Mexican national champion at 168, 168 pounds. So he captured that world title, made history, and now he's back um, trying to make history again. But the world champion is... Um, is nothing to look past. Uh, I think um, I think Arson is a fighter who is 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 capable of doing huge things in boxing. He has a great trainer behind him. He has a great team. Um, he's been world champion, I believe, since what 2018, and now he has his opportunity to fight here in the U.S., which is which is obviously uh, everybody's dream as a fighter. If you're from you know, overseas or from Mexico, uh, you dream of fighting here in the U.S. So I'm pretty sure this fight here will be very, very competitive just because uh, these fighters are, are very hungry, are, are motivated um, to, uh, to fight for that world title. Um, before, before I introduce all the fighters, um, I want to first announce a very special partnership, uh, Golden Boy and Hollywood Park venue share a vision of bringing the highest quality of events to Southern California. We were the first to host uh, an inaugural combat sports event at YouTube Theater in uh, January 2023, and we couldn't be more pleased to make history again by, by being the first to solidify a partnership deal with a uh, deal of this magnitude with the uh, Hollywood Park. I would like to welcome um, to the podium Adolfo Romero of YouTube uh, Theater to discuss this new multi-year, multi-event partnership. Adolfo. Thank you, Oscar. Okay, we, can have you, we can have you down here. We have a special presentation from, on behalf of YouTube Theater and Mr. Kronke, who's bringing the vision of bringing boxing back to Inglewood. We would like to present you with a special gift. And welcome to YouTube Theater, um, where it's a global sports and entertainment destination. And today, we're very proud to partner and have a championship partner in our corner in Golden Boy Boxing. And from day one, we wanted to bring the vision of bringing both a local and a global aspect of this global sports and entertainment destination. And today, it's a global, it's a global announcement for us. It's also a local announcement for us. We get to bring championship fights on a multi-year multi-year agreement that we're inking with uh, Golden Boy Promotion. So very excited about that. And we're also very excited to announce that we're going to be working very closely with Oscar, with his team, everyone at Golden Boy Promotions to make sure that boxing stays relevant year round. And we're going to be using all of the assets of Hollywood Park, YouTube Theater, where we're at here today, the SoFi Stadium, to make sure that boxing stays relevant. We're going to use all of our other events to promote all of the boxing events. And this is the first of many fights coming here to the new home of boxing, YouTube Theater at Hollywood Park. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Thank you very much. You know, as, I, as, I, as I'm seeing this arena, I mean, I can't wait for Saturday night. It's going to be a packed house, um, great fights. But just, just the fact that, you know, we, you know, boxing is a, is a fragmented sport. 
right? I mean, just today, I believe we have like four or five press conferences around the country, um, in Vegas, um, in Arizona, I believe. Um, there's fights. There's fights Saturday night um, in different networks, different promoters. And, you know, it's, it's a great sign. It's a great sign for boxing. But more importantly, um, you know, just giving the opportunity to these young fighters is pretty cool. Um, you know, when I started Golden Boy Promotions, the, the idea was to obviously build world champions and give these young, these young fighters, you know, the, the platform to showcase their talents. And after so many years, you know, we are, we are here. We were able to, um, you know, solidify a, an amazing deal with, uh, with Hollywood Park, and thank you very much for that, uh, where we can showcase young local talent and, uh, and literally make their dreams come true. I mean, it's uh, as cliche as it sounds, it's, it's, it, it literally is making their dreams come true to become world champion and to motivate the next generation and, and, uh, and the youth. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really proud uh, to be here today um, with you guys. And before we introduce the fighters again, I would like to introduce, um, you know, a person who has motivated me outside the ring as a promoter uh, to keep working hard, to keep focused, to, to, to keep, uh, just to keep climbing the ladder. You know, it's, it's a never ending fight, whether you're fighting inside the ring or outside the ring. So I want to introduce now uh, to the podium, he is um, a legend in the sport, and that's my partner, Bernard Hopkins. Bernard. It's going to be quick. Thanks, Oscar. Well, back to back to back, and the cruiserweight main event is going to be to me, something to talk about when it's over with. And Oscar and I <clears throat> always tell the fighters that we do our job outside the ring and it's your job to do what y'all need to do inside, in, inside the ring. And, and you know what, that's, that's what it is. But one thing for sure, the best fights are happening, as he said earlier, everywhere and that's a good thing and let's continue to keep that going let's continue to keep that going because we're going to do our part to my left this is our moment this is our moment and take advantage of it everybody on this stage should try their best to outdo every other bout that's on saturday's card and I'm telling you, when you think like that, then you will see the press the next day. So whether you're the main event, co-main event, or you're the opening act, you go out there like you're the main event, even though you're a four-rounder. And I'm telling you, mentally and everything else will come after that. If you really mean that and you want to prove that, then trust me, you will be talking the same language when that time comes that me and my partner, Oscar De La Hoya, is talking. So let's be in competition with yourself, but let's also, let's try to steal a show. Have a good show. Enjoy it, everybody. Thank you, Bernard. So now to the fighters, uh, one of our most unique Golden Boy prospects, Johnny Cañas is 3-0 uh, and with two knockouts. He will be fighting in a four-rounder, lightweight division, against uh, Romel uh, Sanip. Sorry if I, miss, if I didn't pronounce that correctly. Um, he will be part of the uh, preliminary uh, fights. Let's welcome to the podium, Johnny Cañas. Johnny. Hello, everybody. I just want to thank you guys all for being here today. Um, it's a very special moment for me. I grew up watching Oscar De La Hoya, Bernard Hopkins, and for me to be on the same stage with him is amazing. Three years ago today, I was 18 years old in the Union's Carpenters. I was doing construction during COVID, and 
Eric Gomez, Oscar De La Hoya saw a potential in me. They gave me a chance to chase my dreams. And I just want to say to all the kids watching me, all the young prospects, anything is possible. And you just got to keep working hard. And um, I just want to thank my team and um, everyone that supports me and the Golden Boy staff, most importantly, for making all this possible, all their hard work. They know who they are. And uh, I just want to say thank you to Alexis Rocha for being my biggest role model. He's been there for me through all my ups and downs, and um, he inspires me every day. So we're going to put on a great show for you guys Saturday night. And I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you here. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny. Defending his WBA Intercontinental Light Heavyweight title, Kareem Hackett, 20, uh, he's 12-0 with six knockouts of Toronto, Canada, will, be, will look to impress against tough opponent uh, Rowdy Montgomery with a record of 10-5 and, and seven knockouts of Victorville, California. Fans can expect a 10-round uh, 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 fight, a lot of action. I welcome to the podium Kareem. Yeah, um, I'd like to thank Golden Boy for the opportunity, um, especially Oscar and Bernard Hopkins. You guys have been a big inspiration for me growing up. So uh, I, and I, still to this day, I'm watching your guys' tape, and you guys inspire me day in, day out. Um, I'd like to thank you guys again because, as you can see, I'm the only Canadian on this card. So that's a big thing for us. But uh, yeah, man, um, I'm just ready to move towards the world title. Right now I'm an intercontinental champion, and uh, I'm willing to step on whoever I got to step on to get to that title. And I'm going to show by example on Saturday night. That's all I got to say. Thank you, Kareem. This next young man that I'm going to introduce um, literally just fought two weeks ago, um, right? Two weeks ago, and um, was, was very impressive. He's one of those uh, fighters who uh, I believe holds 17 national titles in the amateurs. He won the uh, Pan American gold medal. Um, he's a special, special talent. and. When I saw him fight a couple of weeks ago, um, you know, obviously he didn't disappoint. He came out, I mean, guns blazing. He just came out, um, you know, he's, he's, he's a technician, but he's a very aggressive technician. And people were very impressed on his power and his speed. So we, uh, we at Golden Boy have big, big hopes for him, big dreams for him. And, but like Bernard Hopkins said, look, it's up to, it's up to the fighters to go out there and, and, and make a statement. But that's exactly what he did. And I told him after the fight, I'm going to keep you active. You want to fight again in a couple of weeks? He was like, yes, of course. You know, I live in the gym. So it's, it's fighters like that. Um, it's fighters like that who make the sacrifice. You know, this is a lot of hard work, you know, for a fighter. It's, it's your life, your livelihood. And, um, it's not an easy job, but um, you know when you have that passion, like uh, like this next young man that I'm going to introduce, um, it makes your job that much easier. So um, yeah, he's one to know, one knockout, Joel Iriarte. Joel. How's it going, guys? I'm real excited to be fighting again. Uh, two weeks ago, I had my professional debut in the boxing capital of the world, uh, Las Vegas. And it was a dream. It was a great experience. Um, got the guy out of there in the second round. So what better way to celebrate than you know coming back two weeks later? Um, I'm excited to be fighting a little bit closer to home. I'm from Bakersfield, California. Um, we, we've been working hard. Um, we train every single day. It's a sacrifice, like Oscar was saying, and boxing is a lifestyle. I feel like we're always in the gym, we're always training. Um, we don't need six weeks, we don't need 
you know, five weeks. We don't even need two weeks. We can fight next week. So um, I'm in the gym constantly. And to, we want to be active. We have that old school mindset that um, we're trying to bring back, you know, that activity in these bo in boxing. So um, we're looking to stay active. We're looking to grow, you know, each bout getting better and better. And uh, I'm excited for it. I'm excited to just showcase my talent and just unfold um, all the talent that I've been working on these, you know, past 15 years of my life. So um, I'm excited, and I, and I want to thank everyone that you know came out and everyone that's tuning into my boxing journey. All my team, you know, Golden Boy, um, Eric Gomez, uh, Bernard, Oscar, Robert, uh, my management team, my father. That's you know, obviously been with me since since the beginning. So. Um, Tune in Saturday night. We're going to get another knockout. See you guys then. Thank you very much, uh, Joel. Appreciate you very much. Uh, this next young man, um, and before I introduce him, I, I do want to emphasize on um, there are four f events this weekend. So to all the press uh, that's here, Thank you guys for being here. Uh, we really appreciate you. I mean, I, you know, we, uh, we, we consider you guys family, you know, and from, from being out there in my house in Las Vegas and having a couple drinks and, you know, now reporting on boxing. So we, we really appreciate you very much. So thank you for being here. Yeah, there's, there's big time boxing um, this weekend. And I mean, me as a fan, I'm super excited. And it doesn't matter if it's from another promoter or, you know, or other fighters that are not with Golden Boy. It's all boxing. It's all, we're in the fight game, so we must, uh, we must support each other. Uh, this next young man, uh, Santiago Dominguez, impressed us all last uh, November in 2023. Yeah, with a second round knockout, um, we expect him to show off uh, his KO power yet again this weekend in a 10 round welterweight fight against Jose Sanchez, and Jose Sanchez has a record of 14-3 uh, and three with four knockouts. Um, so I would like to introduce to you this next young man with a record of 26-0 and, and, 20, and 20 knockouts, Santiago Dominguez. Santiago. Uh, buenas tardes. Eh, primero que nada, quiero dar gracias a Dios por esta oportunidad, a Golden Ball Promotion, al señor Oscar de la Hoya, a Eri Gómez, amigo Berna. Y pues nada, ven muy bien preparado y esperen una gran pelea. Puro México. We have somebody to... I'll, I'll do it myself. Yeah, he basically said, he basically said um, yeah, he's happy to be here. Thank you, Oscar, Golden Boy, Bernard. Yeah, he's ready to put on a great show. So, um, and uh, he's, he's, with the, uh, he's with the best promoter in the world. Oh. Did you say that? <laughs> uh, yeah, and Viva Mexico. Right, there you go. All right. Um, this next young man, I mean, he's... Uh, He's right there, like Bernard Hopkins said, he's right there knocking on everybody's door. Great record, 23-2 and two with 16 knockouts. And he's from uh, Rialto, which is uh, you know, close by. Um, he's been in there with fighters that are top 10, top 15, top 5. He uh, really has an exciting style, has a great fan base. This, uh, this next young man will, uh, will one day become world champion. I mean, he's a hard worker. He's uh, he he loves what he does, and um, it is my my pleasure to introduce to you. Uh, they call him El Niño, El Niño Sandoval, Ricardo El Niño Sandoval, with a record of 23 and two, 16 knockouts. Good afternoon. Now I want to thank everybody for coming out today. Now I'm very excited to be fighting at the YouTube Theater, you know, officially as the Golden Boy Fighter. Uh, I want to thank Oscar De La Hoya, uh, Bernard Hopkins, Eric Gomez, and, and Rosal you know, for putting me on this amazing show. And I also want to thank Abraham, you know, my coach Munchies, and you know, all my sponsors you know, for always supporting me and for giving me, for getting me ready for this fight. 
No, I've been in, it's been a very long camp and I'm just anxious and ready to get back in the ring, you know, and put on a show for everyone. I want to you know my fight with uh Wiltrao is going to be an amazing fight. You know, it's going to be straight out war, you know, full of punches, so you guys for sure don't want to miss this one. También le quiero mandar un saludo a toda la gente en Sinaloa de Leyva, no que siempre me han apoyado. No tuvimos un campamento muy bueno y fuerte y estamos 100% listos para dar un espectáculo. Y sin ninguna duda vamos por la victoria. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you, Ricardo. Appreciate you very much. And now for our co-main event. I mean, this this next young man, yeah, we we uh, we really love like family. He's um, he's um, he's a special talent. You know, hard worker, great head on the shoulder. He. Doesn't give up, you know. He doesn't give up, and um, you know that's that's exactly what it takes to become to to become a world champion to get to the top. Um, he does have a record of 23 and two and 15 knockouts. He uh, he was actually the main event for the uh, for the inaugural uh, uh, boxing show we had here in 2023. He's obviously ready and hungry for redemption. Um, and he's ready to prove to the world that he's back and there's nothing lost. Like I said, he's a hard worker and he's, uh, he's starting off right where he left off. That's basically it. You know, you, you, you have one blemish in your career and it doesn't mean it's the, it's the end. No, it's probably the beginning. It makes you work harder. It makes you, you know, it makes you train smarter. Uh, when you have uh, these types of setbacks, but I believe uh, this next young man who uh, who is in no easy fight, he's fighting uh, Frederick Lawson, who has a record of 30 and four with 22 knockouts, uh, I believe from uh, from Ghana. And Frederick Lawson is a tough, tough, tough opponent. So it shows you the character of this next young man that I'll be introducing. He's uh, he's he's on the fast track um, to. To uh, to fight for a for a world title very soon, but he has to get past this uh, this this tough test on Saturday night uh, live on the zone. Uh, without any further ado, 23 and 2, 15 knockouts. Alexis Rocha. Alexis. What's up, everyone? First off, I want to thank God. Without him, none of this would be possible. I want to thank my team back there, Hector Lopez, Abraham Perez, Cesar Campos. <coughs> I want to thank Golden Boy, Oscar Deloya, Bernard Hopkins, and the whole Golden Boy staff. I appreciate everything you guys do for me. I want to thank YouTube. Thank you guys so much for having me back. I know I headlined last year. I'm very excited, ready to put on a show. This Saturday, I have the opportunity to rewrite my story, to redefine my legacy, and to reclaim my rightful path in this division. This upcoming fight is about resilience. It's about proving to myself that I'm stronger than any other defeat, that I'm tougher than any adversity, and I'm more determined to win. I poured my blood, sweat, and tears into this sport, and I can assure you this Saturday, I'm coming for blood. Amen. Thank you very much, uh, Alexis. And now for the main event. It's a, a championship main event uh, for the WBA Cruiserweight World title between Arsen Feroz uh, Gulamarian, who has a record of 27-0 and 19 KOs. Um, and he hails from uh, Yerevan, Armenia. Yerevan? Yerevan. Yerevan, Armenia. I don't want to get it wrong. Um, Yerevan, Armenia. Uh, he's facing former world champion Gilberto Surdo Ramirez, who has a record of 45 and one and 30 knockouts. So, I mean, combined, it's incredible. What, 60, 60, 72 and one, 30, uh, it's, it's just incredible. I mean, the combination of knockouts these guys have and the wins, it's gonna be one of those fights. Um, I can assure you, it's gonna be one of those fights where, uh, where you will probably remember where you were at when you were watching it. You know, it's like over the years, remember certain events that took place. Well, I think this is gonna be one of those fights. 
I've watched numerous hours and hours of, 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 of fights, um, of, you know, surdos fights. I've watched um, numerous fights of arsons and just styles make fights. That's basically it. You know, styles make fights. And um, these two fighters know what's at stake, obviously. For one, in Surdo Ramirez, it's history in the making. Like I said, he was the first Mexican-born world champion at 168 pounds. He was the first. And now he's looking to, uh, to make history once again in the, uh, in the, what is it, cruiserweight division. So he's always going after history. Surdo's always striving to be the very best and take on the biggest challenges. Um, and this, obviously, Saturday night... Uh, is is going to prove once again that he's the real deal. He uh, he 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 loves facing tough competition. He loves facing fighters who are are going to come at him, and and really fight him. Um, you know, studying uh, Arsene's style, he has he has a very fan friendly style. Like I said, he has a great trainer behind him. So um, I would like to introduce to you first the uh, former. Uh, super middleweight world champion, and now uh, trying to make history for the second time this Saturday night, live on the zone. That is with a record of 45 and 130 knockouts, Gilberto Surdo Ramirez. Surdo. Hello, everyone. Uh, I just want to say, uh, first of all, thank you. Thank God for. And give me the big opportunity. And thank you, Golden Boy, Oscar, De La Hoya, Bernard, um, the champion too. I mean, everyone, thank you to be here. And it's exciting. It's, um, it's my dream come true this Saturday night. And I just want to say um, we're ready. We are ready. Everyone is, is ready for put a great show. So it's a, it would be a great car, even the, the undercar, it would be amazing. And uh, thank you, it's, it's just exciting. Just come watch Saturday night, it will be an amazing show. Muchas gracias a todos. Gracias por, por venir. Solo quiero decir que, que va a ser una excelente noche para todos. Eh, una excelente noche para los fanáticos del boxeo. Una gran cartelera, sobre todo. Pues las carteleras de abajo también son carteleras geniales. Nos vemos aquí el sábado y que gane mejor. Ánimo. The world champion Arsen Feroz uh, Gulamerian has held the WBO title since 2018. I mean, that's no, that's no easy, easy feat there. It's, it's, it's. Just to become a world champion, become a top 10 fighter, takes a lot of, a lot of training, a lot of time, a lot of discipline, you know, that dedication. And the fact that he's been world champion for that long, I mean, it, it, it shows you, obviously, who he is uh, as a person. It shows his character. He's a tough warrior, a tough champion. He has a great team, a great corner. Um, it, it really is uh, my pleasure to uh, to be showcasing this this fight on the zone globally here from the YouTube theater and you know one thing that I do want to get across is uh our our uh, our commitment to LA boxing is uh has been has been um going on now for 20 plus on plus odd years and we want to make the YouTube theater the home of boxing here in Southern California. So on Saturday, whoever is here, on Saturday who's showing up live, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, we're, we're going to have a packed house. Uh, and when you have great talent like these guys up here, uh, it's, it's a can't miss event. Uh, and if you can't be here live, then you know, check it out live on, on the zone uh, uh, globally. It is my pleasure to introduce to you with a record of 27 and 0 
and 19 knockouts. They call him El Feroz for a reason. We knew, we knew another Feroz. I knew him very personally, actually. Um, Fernando Vargas, who was just ferocious, obviously, inside the ring. So there's a reason why he has that nickname. Uh, he does fight like a ferocious, a ferocious fighter out there. So with a record of 27 and 0, 19 knockouts, uh, the world champion, Arsen Galumirian. Arsen. Hi, everybody. I'm very happy to be there. I'm very excited for this fight. Why? Because it's my dream to be in America first and fight in America. I come first time, I, I tell last time, in 2016 with my coach Abel, Abel Sanchez, and uh, he told me, Arsene, give me one year, you, you become world champion. 2016, I come European champion, and 2018, I come world champion. And I prove many years my, my position, I'm champion, and all the time I talk with my coach, I hope one day I fight in America, I hope one day I fight in America, and this Saturday's day is great day and and big competitive days for 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 the bots because I'm champion. He wants my belt. He want my belt, and I must prove the fans, America, and everywhere I'm the champion. This, this division, and we do the fight. I want to say thanks for Golden Boy, thanks Bernard, thanks Oscar for this opportunity for me. Thanks YouTube Theater for this great opportunity too, and good show for Saturday night. Thanks. All right, thank you very much for everyone, uh, everyone coming out. Uh, we will now pose the fighters uh, for pictures. Thank you, appreciate it. Don't miss it, live on the zone, globally, live on the zone. So Oscar, Kill the house, Mike. So Oscar DeLoya, reminding you, Saturday fights are here at the YouTube Theater. Get going. I think the doors open at 2 o'clock. First fight at 2.30. Then DAZN broadcast will get going at 5 o'clock. Make sure you can tune in to DAZN where you'll be able to see those fights. So don't go anywhere. We've still got fighters making their way after the pictures. I'm going to interview the fighters here as we get ready for our Saturday show with the WBA Cruiserweight belt on the line. You'll have Alexis Rosa, Arrocha, the Feroz from Armenia coming over, Ricardo Nino Sandoval, uh, Joel Iriarte, a bunch of other fighters. There's going to be actually 10 fights total, so you'll be able to get a full Saturday of boxing. And you know this here in Southern California, we keep getting hit by the rain, so there's no... Nothing for you to do Saturday or Sunday. There's rain coming your way. So if you got kids' soccer games, they're canceled. Dodger games, they're going to get canceled. So get your tickets for boxing on Saturday here at YouTube Theater at Hollywood Park. All right, so you'll be able to see those fights on Saturday. Let me look at the bout sheet for it. It's all getting filled up. Also, you'll have Kareem Hackett. From Toronto, Canada, taking on Rowdy Montgomery. That's going to be the fight right before the zone. And then also Johnny Cañas, Denny Davitian from the Ukraine, and Ronaldo Matia making his pro debut on Saturday. The light heavyweights, welterweights, lightweights, the light heavyweights of the big boys will be fighting on Saturday. Joel Iriarte opens it up on zone. Santiago Dominguez takes on Jose Sanchez. Uh, Ricardo Sandoval, Carlos Buitrago. Buitrago is a veteran who comes in from Nicaragua. Then Alexis Rocha takes on Frederick Lawson from Accra, Ghana. The main event, Arsen Zanidian takes on El Turbo, Humberto Ramirez. That'll be the WBA Cruiserweight title will be on the line. Golden Boy is also busy all of April. Next week, next Thursday, will be Golden Boy Fight Night in Indio, California. So Indio, Cal Indio, California, next Thursday. You'll see Tito Sanchez out there. You'll see Gucci Manny Flores. Uh, good card for Golden Boy next Thursday in Indio, California. 
And then April 20th, of course, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia going at it. April 27th is going to be Jose Ramirez in Fresno, California. And then, of course, Cinco de Mayo weekend, Jaime Munguia takes on Canelo Alvarez. All of them except for the uh, Munguia card will be on the zone. Uh, mentioned next week, Tito Sanchez takes on Eric Ruiz. That's Golden Boy Fight Night live on the zone. That's from Fantasy Springs Resort Casino in Indio, California. And April 27, Jose Ramirez, Rancis Bartholomew, Virgil Ortiz, Thomas Delorme will be going on April 27. Joined now by uh, my man Alexis Rocha. Lex, I've known you since you made your pro debut. You got a little emotional up there. It's, it's fight's very personal. Yeah, you you known me so long, you're still butchering my last name. I heard you, bro. Yeah, I, look, 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 look. Let me tell you something, Alexis Reels. <laughs> Alexis Rocha. But, yeah, it's hearing the emotion in your voice because your last fight, you got stopped. You're not running away from it. You want to go and put on a show. It's the maturity factor that you're showing, isn't it? Yeah, that's the maturity. You know, without losses, there's no growth. And I think that's really helped me this, this last time around. And, yeah, I'm ready to go out and put on a show, like you said. All right, so you're going into this camp. Johnny Cañas is singing a lot of praises for you. Cañas will be on the broadcast before uh, your fight. What is it about that young man that you're looking out for? Yeah, man, you got to look out for that young man. He's sharp, 6'1". Six, six um, yeah, he's an all-around skilled boxer, and, you know, he means a lot to me when he says that I'm a, I'm a role model, you know, and it means a lot because I've known him since he was 15. I've seen him develop and get signed, and now he's 3-0, and fighting the same card again. Alexis Rocha is going to be putting on a show. Frederick Lawson fought Virgil Ortiz recently. His fight got stopped short. So he's a man who is also looking for a better opportunity. This is going to be a heck of a fight. Yeah, it's going to be a hell of a fight. He's going to bring his best, and I'm just ready, man. I'm ready to go out there. I love what you said about how one fight doesn't define you. One defeat doesn't define you. How you're going to go and show a different version of you. That motivation, it's coming your way what is driving you? Just the whole pain, the whole, every emotion I felt through my last fight is just driven me into to pushing forward and to keep pushing forward and to keep getting better. Alexis Rocha, there's your social media. There's your camera right there. Promote yourself. Say, let people know where to find you. Yeah, you guys can follow me at Alexis Rocha 777 on IG. Thank you, guys. All right, now, that's good. That's a good promotion. But now, here's your ISO camera. You say whatever you want to everybody else in that division. You know, Took a nail in my last fight. Like I said, that don't define me. I'm going to show Saturday night who I am, and I'm coming. Good luck to you, man. I love the attitude. Alexis Rocha, you see him on Saturday. I better make sure I get his name right. If not, he's going to knock some people out, starting with me. He doesn't care if I'm a heavyweight. Speaking of guy moving up the way, this is a cruiserweight. Surdo Ramirez is here. You'll see him on Saturday. Surdo was a champion at 168 pounds, moved up to light heavyweight. Now cruiserweight. How do you feel? How's the body feel? Well, I feel great. I feel like it will be a great night for me and for all the Mexican people. I mean, it's exciting. Exciting to be here, you to theater in Los Angeles. I mean, I will be a lot of Mexican people here supporting me. It will be a, a lot of Latinos. I mean, it's exciting. It's not an easy fight. This guy, he's fighting the United States for the first time, but he's a champion for a reason. It's not easy, Surdo. Ne uh, I mean, boxing is not easy. Never easy. And, I mean... At this level, nothing is easy, and it will be an amazing fight. I mean, I'm, I'm ready. He's ready. We're going to bring a, a really good show. You were the first champion, Mexican champion at 168. You have a chance to make history, the uh, first ever Mexican cruiserweight champion. Yes, sir. That's why I prepare so hard. I, I train really well for this fight, and I want to put everything, what I did in, in, the, in the gym this Saturday night. All right, let's switch it up to Espanol. I've been practicing my Espanol. Surdo is practicing in English. I've been practicing my Spanish. Puedes hacer historia el sábado si ganas un cinturón en el Cruiserweight. ¿Cómo te sientes por eso? Así es, pues me siento listo, me siento contento sobre todo. Pues es una gran pelea. Es por una razón es campeón, es invicta. Entonces voy por ese título. Fuiste campeón en 168. Fuiste a 75 ahora en Cruiserweight. Hay gente que dice que ah, no debe estar allí. A lo mejor no es categoría para él. ¿Qué dices a ellos? Que me vean el sábado. El sábado va a ser una excelente noche, no solo para mí, sino para todos los fanáticos del boxeo. ¿Y por qué pelear con él? ¿Por qué? Porque me gustan los retos. Me, eh, soy hombre de retos. Me gusta eh, siempre proponerme un reto grande y salir adelante. Entonces, creo que venimos a, a hacer historia. Eh, todos en, en la vida venimos a dejar una huella. 
venimos a dejar algo en, en esta vida, ¿no? Entonces, yo voy persiguiendo eso. Como dicen que te gustan los retos, pero también haces sacrificio dejando tu casa, dejando la familia, a entrenar aquí en Los Ángeles con los amigos de Brickhouse, peleando aquí en YouTube Theater. El, es difícil ser boxeador de tu nivel, ¿no? Así es, pues, eh, si fuera fácil, todo el mundo lo hiciera, pero, pues, eh, me gusta. Eh, es un sacrificio que, que tengo que hacer para llegar a donde quiero. Entonces, estoy preparado y, y, pues, es difícil siempre no dejar la familia, los hijos, pero hay que perseguir sus sueños y, y llegar a donde se quiere también. Hasta tu cámara, dame los mensajes a la gente de Sinaloa. Muchas gracias a toda la gente por el apoyo. No se pierdan la pelea el sábado. Zurdo Ramírez, good luck to you, my friend. See, how's my Spanish? Good? Always good. Always good. See, I'm learning. I'm learning. You're surdo. You'll see him Saturday here at YouTube Theater at Hollywood Park. It's in Inglewood, California, right next to SoFi Stadium. So you've been to a football game here where you're either watching the Rams or the Chargers or this past weekend they had Rolling Loud. It is a great setup. And inside this theater, you'll see right over my shoulder where the chairs are at. That's where the ring is going to go. It's a great setup. Every single seat is fantastic. And you'll be able to see El Feroz Arsen. Will median, uh, who has his own promotion company. So you're a fighter and a businessman? Yeah, now I started uh, Saturday night my promotion. I'm very happy. And uh, I want the fans of Merrick see these fights because it's a great, great, great fight. I'm come in America, my first fight there. I'm seriously very excited. I'm trained very, very hard. And This is my dream, you know, the proof, fans, American fans, I'm, I'm trying to crazy right and, and go to for unification. All right, you're, this is your first time you're going to be fighting in the United States, but like Oscar was saying, watching your fights, if you can find them, going out there and see it, you're a fun fighter. This is all action. You're a big guy, cruiserweight, but you don't go from anywhere. You stand in the middle, you trade with them. Is that the kind of fight we should see, all action on Saturday? This is my, 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 my styles, you know, this is my styles. This is every, everybody told me this is a Mexican styles, but it's feral styles, it's arson styles, and, and I, I, I have big character, you know, in the ring, and I can no give stop. I have not stopped. When I started first gong, that's it. Or 212 maximum, or finish it, and that's it, you go home. You get after it. You've been training with Abel Sanchez in Big Bear, California. So Abel, of course, trained uh, Triple G. That's where we're getting the Mexican style, the attitude. Abel's been telling me about you for a couple of years now. He's like, this guy right here, when everything works out, you're going to love his style. He, and Abel doesn't give many compliments to a lot of fighters. So he said that you're just one of the guys that in the gym, he loves working with you. What have you learned from Abel? I learned control. My, my temperature in the ring, you know, because I'm, I, I want the war, but yeah. intelligent war is better. And when I come in Big Bird first time, I want just, you know, punch, punch, punch. But he give me, you know, correction in the ring, my style, my position, my, my everything. And he changed me. And I'm a warrior in the ring, you know. I want, I want, I want war, but war intelligent. Yeah. That's it. Intelligent warfare on Saturday. You know, Surdo Ramirez and you, you guys look at each other, respect each other. He's a former champion. There's no animosity. This is just business. But I heard you say that you're going to stop him. Is that true? I want this one because, you know, it is Golden Boy show. And you know what happened, you know, in the ring when you go to 12 rounds. I, I don't like when go to 12 rounds, you think you beat or do you don't beat. Don't leave it to the judges. Yeah, that's it. And you must prove and and go make another fight, great fight. We'll see him live Saturday, YouTube Theater, Al Hollywood Park. Arsen, you speak five languages. Yeah. Uh, English, French, Armenian, Russian, German, and you're speaking a little Espanol now? Uh, un poquito. <laughs> <laughs> My coach learned every, when I, I do sparring, he talk with me Spanish, you know. Guy But any good words or only bad words? No, good words. Oh, good words, okay. Good words. No, boxing. Just, just boxing. Okay, so hablas boxeo. Habla boxeo. Arsene Feroz, you'll see him on Saturday. Good luck to you, my Thank friend. You. Gracias. Thank you. Thank Merci. You. Yeah, he lives in France. He's going to give me some French cuisine. Maybe I'll go some uh, escargot with him later on. So you have Surdo Ramirez. Arsene is going to be a heck of a fight. It's the cruiserweight championship on the line. Saturday, 
from the YouTube Theater at Hollywood Park in Inglewood, California, live on DAZONE. Early afternoon boxing gets going a little bit after 2 when the doors open. DAZONE gets going at 5 o'clock. You have five fights coming your way. Do not miss Joel Liliarte, El Nino Sandoval. Also, you have uh, uh, Alexis Rocha. And, of course, the main event. So for everybody behind the scenes, great job today. Luis, our producer, director extraordinaire, everybody, the crew. Tomorrow, the weigh-in will be streamed. Myself and Joe Martinez will bring it for you here. Make sure you go to the Golden Boy social media accounts for all the behind-the-scenes coverage. And as always, if you need tickets for Saturday, go to Ticketmaster.com. For Oscar DeLoya, Eric Gomez, president of Golden Boy, and everybody behind the scenes, I'm Beth Durant. Thanks for watching. We'll see you Saturday. Hey, champ. I know why you're here. You're a born winner, the top dog. You have a proper punch on you. It only takes one, eh? But I know you're not all about throwing haymakers. You know your bobs from your weeds. And you know the zone's got over 100 live events every year. Over 100. Proper stack. All the action, the chaos, the comebacks, the non stop knockout. Big fights every week. So get those gloves back on. Together, we're boxing royalty. The zone, undisputed. The smile is gone. Seems like he's all business now. And they'll wave it off immediately, Gilberto! I come for you. Just a bunch of monsters in there. I'm ready to be a champion at Cruiserweight. We must plan in a lot. March 13th, I'm the best Cruiserweight in the world.